Welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. My name is Jesse, and we are going to continue talking about the Koha ERM. Today, we're going to focus on e-holdings, and we're going to break this up into two different weeks. So this week, we're going to start by talking about EBSCO's connection to the e-holdings module within Koha's ERM. So what this allows you to do is essentially connect your subscription to EBSCO directly into the ERM. So what we'll do is we'll come in here and we'll look at um, our e-resource management. Now, right now you'll notice I only have local packages and titles enabled. What we'll do is we're going to come into administration and we're going to come over here to our global system preferences and we're going to come over here on the left hand side to e-resources. You'll notice that there are two separate system preferences, one for the ERM provider of the EBSCO API key and one for your EBSCO customer ID. Now, in order to connect this, you do need a subscription with EBSCO's Holdings IQ. This is their knowledge base, which allows you to curate that information and bring it directly into the Koha system. So there's a third system preference, and that is called ERM providers. And this is where you can actually come in and say, yes, I want EBSCO to show, or no, I don't want EBSCO to show. So if you don't have that subscription for EBSCO's holdings IQ, you can leave that unchecked, and then it will only show the local holdings. Go ahead, Kelly. That's, that's super, I, you know, that's super helpful. A, to know that it's a subscription. So if you don't have that subscription and you have no need for it, then marking it just local, then maybe you want to stop watching and watch us next week. <laughs> we'll talk about local e-holdings, who knows? <laughs> but if you're interested in knowing how to do it, if you're looking at it for the future, this is going to be super helpful. Absolutely. So now once we have the e-holdings um, enabled for EBSCO, again, you'll enter in your EBSCO customer ID, your EBSCO API key. If you have the subscription to their holdings IQ, you'll then see a option here for EBSCO packages and titles. This gives me the ability to come in and then actually search. So what it's doing is it's searching my EBSCO collection and then bringing those results in. So if I do a quick search here for psychology, and again, we're just gonna search in packages. When I bring those results back, what this will show me is the information directly coming from my EBSCO collection. So as I scroll through, I can see those titles directly. Um, it will show me them. If I click on that, it will add that information in, and then I could add that package to my holdings within the system. So this is just a nice way to be able to see that information directly in there. I could then see it at the title level. So if I click on that, you know, it will show me the information. And again, this is just coming directly from um, the EBSCO interface. Now, alternatively, you can also search by title. So if I come over here and again, do that psychology search, um, I'll be able to see any titles that are in there. And you'll notice if a little button shows up, it looks like a little green checkbox right here. That means that I do have access to that, that it's in my collection. Now, I will say if if you do subscribe to Holdings IQ, most likely you're using EBSCO's EDS or their discovery platform. So you'll be able to see those titles discoverable in EBSCO. When you were looking at packages, Jesse, I did see that you did have an option at that point to upload an agreement. So again, bringing that just yes. totality of the ERM module within the, you know, the view, the kind of the bird's eye view of how it works, bringing it back to our first video that when you're looking at this package, you could break that down at an agreement and so on and so forth. Yep, absolutely. So we could say here, psychology collection, select that. And now it's added in. <laughs> oh, we get seriously excited about this stuff. This is, this is, Absolutely great. I love it. It's super exciting to see kind of a new module grow in Koha. And, you know, as we move to the future, we know it's getting bigger and better. So this is exciting. 
just a quick plug, Kelly and I will be at Koha US um, on Friday, the 22nd. We're going to be doing a little workshop on the ERM and um, just how you can get the most out of it. So our short little four minute videos will be a lot longer and we'll go into more depth of, um, you know, just how you can use the ERM to really set up your electronic resources. Yeah, we're excited. So hopefully we see you or if not, we hope you're enjoying these videos. Have a great week. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.